If you want to create an online community, you can now do it with Zoho's Campfire. It's a brand new product and it is in beta. So let's have a look. Zoho Campfire is a community platform with feeds and spaces, branded community, and eventually you'll be able to charge membership subscription. So at the moment, it's only in beta. So you actually have to fill out a form and request access. I've done that. And so let's go for a tour. Now that I'm inside, we can see it's got a slightly familiar feel and they don't really hide it. You can see in the top left, it says, connect now i did open up my zoho connect as well just so that you could see the difference uh, or the similarities so we've got feeds tasks channels manuals ideas forums and a very familiar looking framework uh, if you come into here this is zoho campfire and you can see that it says zoho connect and it's got feed spaces tasks manuals town hall events very similar stuff now what i have done is when i set up the platform i actually went through and added my own logo but for whatever reason it's dropped that and it's added Zoho Connect. So you can create a dashboard where you can add certain things like quick links, texts. So let's do that. So let's grab a quick link and then let's go back. Gonna add Relevate. There we go. We've got the URL, relevate.com.au. So we're gonna add link. So I could add a few links there if I so desire. So let's go back and embed. So that could bring through some other content, maybe a, a calendar or something like that. Text. So if you wanna make like a, an announcement, hello world, and then if you want to add well, they've got a countdown timer and then you can add gallery or images or things like that and you've got system widgets so you might be able to add in events tasks any of those other items that are generally inside of the network let's save that one let's preview and publish so here we go we've got our link and we've got that publish and there we go here is our home page with some basic stuff on it okay so let's go into feeds so you can see here it's like the post feed inside of zoho connect and so you can make a comment hello and then you've got these other functions here. So start a conversation, ask a question, share an idea. You can also select where it's gonna go. So whether you want it to be on the network wall, Zoho area, or general discussion, or any of those spaces that you create. Hovering over here, I can select whether it's a private chat or whether I want to disable comments. You've got the ability to add some rich text here and you can add a title. So I'm just gonna share that one on the network wall. Okay, so we can see now that post is there and if anyone wants to come in, they can give it a like, leave a comment, they can see the full post if it's got a fair bit of history on it, they can forward it or they can add it as a task. Next, we've got spaces. Spaces kind of like group things together. So I've got this one, it's got a padlock on it, it's private. This is my Zoho area. We've got the ability to add different bits and pieces so we can share an idea, ask a question. You can add manual which are kind of like knowledge articles. So if I want to give this one a name and then I can add who can contribute. So once we've got the article, test, test, save, publish, you can add chapters as well, which just helps you break it down a bit further. Then when, once we publish that, then that's now available. Now, the good thing about this, and I, and I really do like these, is that all of this is searchable and all of that content can then be shared if depending on its permissions. So you can see here, we've got the ability to expand it. We can favorite it. We can see how many people viewed it. We can add some feedback and then we can discuss it. So then if I go over to the dots here, I've got the ability to export as a PDF and then share that on another channel. I can do the URL if it's a public one. We can share it, save it as a template. There's heaps of things here that make it really, really useful. So we come over to tasks here and we go to my tasks. This uses boards. So boards is kind of like, this is just sample data, but it's kind of like a Kanban board or a shared space. So it's almost got all the complete functions of Zoho Connect. The only difference is the ability to now share it with more externals and also to put paywalls on it. So it'll be interesting to see how the paywalls works because that feature is not currently available and it runs through Zoho subscriptions. So we're not sure what the pricing structure would be for Zoho Campfire because I don't know if it's going to be part of Zoho One. Now, Town Hall is kind of like an open discussion. It's a forum kind of event where people can basically say that I'm gonna be here at this time, come and join me and listen to what I have to say. So in a large organization or where you've got lots of people doing these sorts of things, you can join in, you can see what's on the agenda. So calendar, pretty self-explanatory. So let's just create an event. Uh, you can, you do have the ability to use Zoho webinar basically to add in conferences. Uh, let's go to event and we can add a location and invite 
invitees. Then we've got private events and public events. In forums, again, this is very similar to that other main area. I think the difference with a forum is it becomes a little bit more long-term. So here we've got the ability to check Oh, and our permissions, you can allow moderation. We're going to write a forum post. And this is kind of like the manuals kind of page where we can go give it some context. I do quite like the formatting options that you have here, in particular being able to embed video images and things like that. So let's save that one, we'll publish that one. Now, this is kind of cool. We've got the ability to add a reaction so you can like it. And then you could also give it a comment and then see the number of views. So if you're trying to get people to give you some feedback on maybe an event or an idea or something like that, actually there is a better space for ideas. And let's have a look at that now. It does kind of operate in a very similar way. So here is an idea I added earlier and I voted it up. So that means that the more positive or upvotes, the more likely it is that we should take that idea on. And then you've got a status field here. So you've got new, in progress, and then completed. Now you do have the ability to customize those, but I think it's very cool that we can share an idea, have some comments and feedback, see who's viewed it, and just really get an understanding of how accepted it is or whether or not people don't like the idea. Then when we come over to the left here, the really the only other options we have is the ability to add web tabs. I've created one here. Web tab is an external website, and this is to our, our actual community. So if we go to more and preferences, we can change some of the order of these. We might be able to turn some of them off and we can also add another web tab. But effectively, that is the high level overview. Now, you'll notice there is some other menu items just on the other side here. So one of which is the settings. And this is going to walk me through the onboarding and setup. And if I click into the settings here, we can see we've got, we can change the URL, we can change member types, names, we can give some other details. So adding in apps, policies, so what's the user permissions, what do people need to be aware of. Then we've got, I think the next most valuable thing is gamification and letting people know that they're doing well when they're getting into posting. Email notification preferences. And this is probably one of the most important things is having a digest email. But it's saying one email per day, which I think can be a little bit problematic. It would be good to see one email per week as a summary. That way it's not too annoying and it doesn't turn people away from your community. Further into the settings, we've got gamification. You can set different levels and you can provide a way to add bonus points. Analytics lets you know how well people are adopting your membership community. So we've got the feeds, spaces, tasks, town hall. What are features that people are actually using? Customization, so that's just adding your logo and your favicon. Now I did add, add the logo before and you can see it here in the settings menu, but when we were back in the app, it didn't let me do that. I can change some CSS styling, custom domain, custom email, email templates, social login, quick, start, quick sign up URL, which is great for sharing in email. Then we can manage data. We can even build a landing page to be able to sell why someone would want to join our community. Now the design functions of this website are not very strong, but it can be nice just to have a little bit of something. Ultimately, you could create another landing page in another platform and then link it to behind a button, for example, which is exactly what we've done with the landing page that we use. So in the sign up form, you don't have a lot of capacity to edit the form. You're able to add a few fields here. If I come up to edit, we can see I can select certain fields fields but I and set them as mandatory but I can't do anything to change this sign up to try our amazing services what if that's not relevant to me I can't edit it under subscription this is obviously a, that's coming soon but that will plug into Zoho subscriptions or Zoho billing and then obviously back through to books as well so that you have that financial reporting a single sign on pretty self explanatory and then you've got dynamic membership as well so dynamic membership workflow allowing people to access certain boards based on their profiles so all profile information. So if they fill out a field, maybe they indicate that they're a customer type, or maybe they indicate that they're a partner, or maybe they indicate that they're a reseller. You can give them different spaces based on that. So now having come back, it's, it's re-adopted my URL. So obviously it's in beta. So there's still a few little niggling issues, but overall, I think it could be quite useful. Now, if we go to invite, I think I have the ability to invite quite a few thousand members, but we can either import 
users from a CSV or we can email directly. And as you saw in the other screen, we can create a quick sign up URL so that people can log in. Now it would be good to be able to create different membership tiers and then be able to charge the customer effectively the right amount based on each membership tier and then automatically give them the certain level of access. So you might have three different spaces, for example, and then if they're on the free plan, they get the certain amount of access. If they're on the junior plan, then they get another level of access. And then if they're on the master plan, well, then they get access to everything. Okay, so spaces, we can create new space here. If we go and we can then set our privacy permissions. I've got the dots and we can set default areas or views and we can see deleted posts. You've got these little widgets along here and you've got the ability to manage them as well. So if you wanted to change the layout or what people can see. So maybe you wanted to see upcoming meetings, then you can turn that on or off, trending tags on or off, etc. Now, if we come over to the right here, obviously we can see people so that we can add other members. We can see all pending invites, etc. We can go through into the settings and just see who can do what based on their role, etc. Then if we come over, we've got integrations. If we click into that, there's actually not really any integrations available just yet. So it's pretty empty in here. Video conference. Now this one plugs into Zoho meetings. So if I click on that one, we should be able to set and invite a, a video video conference or even start one and then maybe grab the link and then put it into that town hall function that we saw earlier. And then you've got broadcast, which seems more to be like the webinar function. So instead of it being a meeting where everybody can contribute and communicate, you've got more of a webinar style where just the person running the session can tell everybody else what's going on, but everyone else is just a participant watching. Hey, if you're finding this useful, I'd love to get a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and just let me know in the comments what you think of Zoho Campfire and if you would like any particular features. Now, there is a couple of extra bonus features just down here behind me. So I'll swap sides here and we can have a look. We've got the final out what's new button and this is just the release schedule of all of the features that have been released in Zoho Campfire. We've got a help button where you can go and ask for support or record screen or let them know the feedback on what's working or what's not working. For those of you that like dark mode, we do have the ability to flick that to night mode, which is effectively dark mode and then hide widget. So you can hide those sidebar widget pieces. You can also hide this menu off to the left here just to get a little bit more screen real estate. Personally, I have a wide screen. I like to see more things that are on the screen. Okay, let's check out the customer side. So I'm over here in the customer sign up page and you can see that this try our amazing services and I did add a couple of extra fields. So I'm just gonna create an account and let's have a look from the visitor side. So I signed up using the form and when I come back in here, I've got a little one next to the settings. So if I come down here, I've got a pending request. So I've just approved the request. So as soon as I approved the request, so as soon as I approved the request, I got this email, but it went to my spam folder. So I'm just gonna click on activate account. Okay, so from the user side, we have slightly less features, but mostly the same. So we've still got our home page, and here's those items that we added earlier. If we go to the feeds, again, some things aren't coming up here, but let's have a look at network wall. So there's that hello one that we made. We can see activity, we can see manuals, we got a general discussion. Okay, so on the user side broadly, we can see most of the the standard things that you can see from the other side. But one thing that's really important is getting those permission settings right. So whenever you make a post that you have made it publicly visible to the right type of area. Now, as a community user, I am able to add manuals and I'm able to add things like ideas and then I can vote on them. So as mentioned, if you're going to be running this platform from the command side, then you want to make sure that your post settings allow the end user to have visibility over those posts. So I'm in my admin view and I'm able to see the idea that I just created and then I can upvote it. So it's now got two votes. Now, if I come down to this idea that was created by me from the admin side, that one was not visible on the user side. So you can see here by these spaces that this one is public, but that one is private. So spaces and permissions are gonna be a very important and perhaps a little bit confusing initially. But once you get it right, it should be pretty good. The big thing is adoption and just understanding how the audience wanna organize themselves. So I hope you enjoyed watching. That is Zoho Campfire. You should definitely check out this video.